Welcome back, Chris Richter here from ricochet.com.au. We are looking at a series called H5P, which is all about interactive content inside your learning management system. Now remember, H5P doesn't have to be just in the Moodle LMS. It can be used in many other LMSs too, but I'm going to show you how it works specifically in Moodle 4.0 with the Bush theme. We're looking at the drag the words activity type. So let's go and see what that looks like in H5P. If we go to drag the words, it's basically just a, here's some writing, drag and drop it inside a box and see if you got it correct. So my favorite band is, and the question here is Empire Between, or the answer is Empire Between. Uh, that is my band, so that's why it's favorite. Empirebetween.com slash YouTube music, feel free to check it out. My favorite singer is, and notice the order, was Empire Between Ricochet Jasmine. It randomly changes the order of those every time you go and re-attempt the question. So favorite singer being Jasmine Alicia, which is actually my daughter. So please check out the facebook.com Jasmine Alicia. She's also the singer for Empire Between as well, but she does her own music. Check that out. And the last one is my favorite YouTube channel, of course, is or has to be Ricochet. So youtube.com slash at Ricochet. Dragged and dropped all of the answers in. When I choose check, it then tells me whether I got them correct or incorrect. That's all the drag and drop activity. That's what it does. Let's go and make our own and see what's involved in putting that together. In our H5P demos, we go to experiments and we're going to add a H5P activity. This is a drag the words one. So we go down to our content bank to create the activity. So we just choose content bank. We're going to choose add and look for drag the words. There it is. So this is called drag the words and we'll call it experiment. Okay, now the instructions for drag the words are quite simple and how it's put together. All you need to do is have the asterisk either side of the word that is going to be dragged. In this case, the word is browser and that will put the word browser off to the right hand side and they can drag and drop that into that sentence. So it's just text based, it's, very, it's quite simple and clever. So I'm gonna grab the first one and paste that in. Now there's something else important about this as well, and you'll see in the instructions that it tells you here how the instructions, well, how it works. But if I have a column, then some writing after that, that becomes a tool tip, which is really useful to help clarify why that answer or, or some information about that particular answer. So the answer is still just the single word browser, but the colon and then the writing after it is our tool tip. It all sits inside an asterisk. So all of that together is part of the interactive part of the, of the question. Now this one here is a bit different. The second question, H5P content is, the word is interactive that they're going to drag. So the two words, browser and interactive, will be the dragging objects that they drop into the sentences. But this one has slash plus correct. And that just means that if they get this correct, it will give a response of correct exclamation mark slash minus then uses this text here if they get it wrong it will then show that it's incorrect so this is the feedback or immediate feedback for each individual question so that's you can put that in there you can actually add that inside here as well in the first question and have a tooltip and the correct incorrect or feedback for if they get it correct or they get it incorrect you don't need to use the words correct and incorrect by the way you can put something else in for correct as long as it's slash plus the next part is the overall feedback. Now, because these questions are based around percentages, if you would like to give some information there that says, regardless of what they answer, if the answer is anywhere between zero to 100 as a percentage that they get this feedback, you can put something in there that just happens no matter what they do. Or you can add a range where you can say zero to, for example, 50%. If they get zero to 50%, this is the response that you give. And in this case, zero to 50% means they've got one of these two questions correct. If they get both questions correct, it will be 100%. So you can design the feedback that goes with that. But I'll get rid of that for now. Just need to confirm to remove things. The last bit is the behavioral settings. And this is that we allow them to retry. You don't have to. You can just make it that they get one go and that's it. The show solution button, if they get it wrong and they wanna know what the solution is, you can enable that. And then instant feedback as well, which just provides feedback, the feedback responses as they do the questions. So I'll leave instant feedback on. And then the last part, text overrides, which is the same as with most H5P, you can put in your own terminology. So instead of the check button, you can 
type in some other name that you'd like to use for that particular button. And you can do that for all of these buttons and confirmation messages and all that type of thing. There's a fair bit in there. All right, let's see what this activity looks like now that we've created it. We choose Save. You can see there we have our tooltip. What type of program is Chrome? H5P content may be edited using a... What type of program is Chrome? Well, the answer would be Browser. We can put that in. The other question we need to drop in is H5P content, content is interactive. And then it gives our feedback for the word interactive. It shows you the feedback there, correct. So if it was incorrect, you could put something else in there. And that's the immediate feedback that happens from the way we created that drag the words experiment. And I just realized there's a typo there, so I'm going to fix that too. Uh, that's all there is to it. That's how we create our drag the words. One more thing we need to do though is actually embed this in a page because at the moment it's still in the content bank. So let's just fix up the word experiment because that will annoy me. There we go. Experiment's fixed. And we can go to our H5P activity, which is in the previous browser tab. Choose package file, go to content bank, and it was drag the words experiment. Select, save and display. And we now have our activity already for someone to go and complete. And just to show you, because it had uh, immediate feedback on, it shows you it's wrong straight away. If I turned off immediate feedback, it wouldn't show you that at all. It would just wait for you to finish answering all the questions. And once you've answered all those questions, then it would provide the answers to it. Now, because I got them wrong, it also gives you this show solution and retry, which were those two buttons we clicked on as well. And it also tells you that I got browser wrong. The correct answer is actually supposed to be interactive and incorrect try again. That's how we use a drag the words activity in H5P. Hope that's been helpful to you. My name is Chris Richter. I'll talk to you again soon, but check out the courses in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.